Theology is the study of God and it's very important. Doxology is an expression of praise to God. So the point here is that all theology should ultimately lead to doxology. Hey, this is Pastor Jay Jones and I just wanted to record a, a quick message um, relate to you something that's been on my heart for a while. We've been in this area, my family and I, for a little bit over a year, replanting a church in Cash, Redeemer Community Church of Cash. And something that I've observed while we've been down here, um, and really this is across the board, whether a person is a Baptist, which is probably the majority of churches in this area, or a Methodist or Presbyterian, um, something I uh, have observed is people um, who will claim to be a Christian, uh, but rarely go to church, if ever. Everything's got to be just right. Um, no sporting events, nothing for my kids, uh, no professional games on, and of course, they can't be tired. Everything's got to be just right. Then they'll go to church. So it's almost like Jesus is just something that they'll add to the side of their life, and they'll participate in if... Um, if everything's just right. Uh, and the question that I would ask, and ask who, if this is you perhaps, maybe you've thought, well, you don't really have to go to church to be a Christian. And I would say, I guess I agree in principle, if you are saved, as the Bible says, by faith alone, uh, through Christ alone, and this is grace, this is God's grace given to us, and we repent and believe on Christ, we're saved, we're justified before God, declared righteous. Uh, that is true. But the question then is, why would a person who that has occurred to um, not gather together to worship God with uh, his brothers and sisters? One thing that the Bible tells us that I, I believe happens is uh, we begin to treasure Jesus in our heart above all things. This takes the place of these other things that we spend the majority of our time doing, the things that we love. And so when I, just, when I look at society, really what I see is um, however this has happened in this culture here in southwest Oklahoma, it appears that many people believe that, uh, that you can be a Christian and, and have Jesus just be added to whatever else is in your life and not have him be uh, pr have pr first priority and have be your heart's desire and, and, and Jesus being that which you cherish and love above all things. The thing that I would ask you is, there is a clear command in the Bible. Uh, Hebrews 10.25 says to not forsake the gathering of yourselves together. That is a, a, God's word. It's a command in the Bible, just like don't murder someone is in the Bible. And yet, what today we have most people believing that that command can just be ignored. So the question that, that I would just ask is, Jesus says, if you love me, you will obey my words. And those are clear words from Jesus, uh, to gather yourselves together uh, so that you could worship God. And so when you take all these things and you look at them, that Jesus is just one thing among many, that you love many, many different things, and, and you'll come to worship Jesus, who died for your sins, was buried, rose on the third day, that you'll just add him to your life uh, behind, usually, you know, your kids' sports or your own hobbies or whatever it is you love. Uh, and you'll add him if everything's just right. There ought to be really a, a time of reflection, I think, to say, um, why do I believe about this, about being a Christian? Did somebody tell me when I was a kid that I was a Christian? And then, does this match what the Bible says a Christian is? And the, and the reason I'm recording this message is not because I want to be mean or legalistic. I think I'm the furthest thing from a legalist. I feel obligated to record this out of love and, and really out of accountability to Jesus Christ as someone who would say that I, I'm a preacher of the Bible. I feel accountable to tell you in this area that you cannot uh, directly disobey the words of Jesus Christ. If you are a Christian, you, you need to obey Him. To, to gather yourselves together with like-minded believers to worship Jesus Christ. He's worthy of, of all of your worship and all of your devotion. If you're not, if you're just doing it occasionally, then I would just encourage you to, to re-examine your heart and your life and to ask yourself, um, am I really a Christian? Or am I really just culturally a Christian? Um, that's the danger, I think, of living here, being, being raised in southwest Oklahoma. So it's encourage you to have love, um, to examine your heart, and if you look and you find, perhaps I'm not really a Christian, I, I would just encourage you, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Um, treasure Him in your heart above all things in the universe, and He's worthy of all 
honor and praise. I hope that you will. And if you haven't been going to church, I pray and I hope that you will go. Go to whatever church is close to you or your home church, go back. And if you don't have one, you're welcome to join us at Redeemer Community Church of Cash. You can check us out online at heredeems.com. Thank you.